For the ice cream base, I'm using the recipe, I think it came originally from the New York Times. It's the only ice cream recipe you'll ever need. It has heavy cream, milk, whole milk, none of that 2% shit, sugar. For my version, I'm cutting the sugar in half because I'm also adding a cup of uh, malt powder, which is pretty... I guess it's most, I have no idea what malt actually is, but this is just basically sugar, uh, malted flavor, sugar. Six eggs, no, six egg yolk, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, vanilla, and zero waffle. For my version, I do it a little differently than the recipe from the New York Times. I'm actually following more of the example of um, Claire, I think, Saffitz from the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen's um, How to Make series. And she combines the sugar with uh, the egg yolk, which you then beat vigorously um, and beat a lot of air into. Uh, the New York Times combines the sugar with the milk and the heavy cream. All right, so we put about a third in, a little at a time. We cook this until it reaches about 170 degrees and coats the back of the spoon. The first time that I made this, uh, the mistake, or what I was calling a mistake, occurred with uh, how I prepared the Whoppers. Uh, like a pack of sticks or something. For that preparation, I wanted a about a third for um, in larger chunks, and, and then um, I wanted the other two thirds in what I hoped would be sort of like um, Whopper chips. Instead, because uh, the way that I chose to do it was using the food processor, which I don't use very often because I like to get my hands into the food. The, the first preparation, I, in, while using the food processor, ground it into a, a fine Whopper dust. And since I, I, I did that and it was not what I intended, I, I added it to the ice cream anyway, which is why I, I call this ice cream um, Whopper Beach, because it, it gave it a really nice texture um almost like uh almost like wet sand and i don't think that that people crave that as a mouth feel but it's only because they've only experienced that tasting wet sand Anyway, so for this version, I'm going to do that again, uh, about two-thirds of it, into the food processor. Uh, the other third, I'm going to beat into small chunks, because uh, that was an important part also, texture-wise. Mm. Lovely, fine whopper powder. Or as I like to call it, a whop of sand. I knew it would be um, marvelous. This is the the second time I've made it. Um, if you want to see the first time, you should um, join my my OnlyFans account. Uh, or, I'm actually now wondering if the malt powder is even necessary. I, I think most of the malt flavor actually comes from the Whopper, the Whopper dust itself. Who knows? God, I love that texture though. I also put a bit of the homemade Nutella in because I wanted to get a sense of of what I what I might do for the the chocolate fudge ribbon. 
in the ice cream I'm trying to make. And it's not going to be Nutella because it freezes like a piece of chocolate bar. I'm actually thinking, and this is where making uh, the cake actually comes in handy, I think that the, the ganache that I made for the cake, the chocolate hazelnut ganache, might actually freeze better in that it w maybe... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I want something that won't freeze entirely and will be somewhat pliable rather than um, brittle like chocolate. It's really nice texture. Great flavor. Excuse me. Great, great flavor. This should be a thing. But I think I'm actually really close to being ready to start trying to um, make my version of the fudge hazelnut supreme. 